you figure out what your customer really wants and needs? Hi, this is Ray Stendhal, publisher of Customer Engagement Magazine and the author of the Customer Engagement Manifesto. I happen to be outside of my customer and I'm sitting here in the parking lot being a little bit early and getting ready for my meetings and I was feeling inspired. I wanted to share a few ideas with you. When you go into a sales meeting, the amateur focuses on questions that begin with what? What do you need? And that's an acceptable question to be used as part of your interviewing process to figure out what's going on, but it's not nearly important as two other key words. The second key word that I want you to remember is why. Ask your customers why do they want to accomplish what they want to accomplish. You see, you as an expert in your field can probably identify multiple ways of accomplishing the same goal and perhaps in a more efficient manner than what your customer perceives. And if you focus on the what, you are taking their perception of how the solution can be obtained as opposed to understanding the root cause of why they want to solve the problem so that you can bring your expertise to the table and explain what can be done. But you know, the what and the why, as important as they may be, is not nearly as important as the how. You have to understand how they do what they do today in the absence of your solution. How are they getting by without your solution today? And what is the problem set that occurs because your solution isn't present? Unless you understand how they're doing things today and how they would like to do things in the future to establish a gap you're not in a very good position to position how your solution fills this gap to meet their needs, which is the what, and more importantly, get to the why it is that they're making this investment. Remember, at the end of the day, especially in B2B sales, executives buy numbers. They buy increases in revenue, decreases in costs, increases in margin, increases in ROI, they're looking to gain more efficiency for the capital that is employed in that organization. So if at the end of the day you know a financial person is going to be making this assessment of your solution, you need to break down and understand how what it is that you're selling relates to not only the needs but also brings the business value and the more you're able to document it and provide reasonable ROI projections with customer provided assumptions. Very important. The customer needs to be intrinsically be involved in providing these assumptions in order for the whole thing to be believable. The less uh, successful you're going to be. You must involve them in this process. So please remember, everybody deals with the what. Amateurs deal with features and stick to features. The next level is dealing with benefits, dealing with the, the why. The next level is really digging deep and looking at the how and being able to tie it all together and represent it in, through ROI studies. Now you might ask me, Ray, how do I go about figuring out the how? Well, you need to spend some time interviewing people, interview users, interview the people who are going to work with your solution, do some shadowing, job shadowing, sit with people in their offices, in their buildings, watching them do what they do, look for ways of documenting the existing work process, figure out how it can be done better, and you'll be miles ahead of the competition. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please comment, share, like it. Let others know about what we're talking about here in these videos because we really need to increase our game in order for us to be successful, move our business forward. And if you'd like some personal help, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help you break down your sales and marketing process and optimize it as well as help you build the right sales tools to help you be more successful. As always, I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.